Am I the only one that thinks the German language is sexy sounding? <laughs> This is Matthias Otto, better known as Max Rob, and he has the Palester Orchestra. He does some things in English and a lot of things in German, mostly from the 20s and 30s, but he does have some more modern songs. Listen to how he trills his R's. It makes me melt. Meine sehr verehrten Damen und Herren, hier auf dieser Bühne befindet sich das Palastorchester. Wir werden Ihnen heute Abend Musik der 20er und 30er Jahre zu bringen, und zwar in den Original. Is it any wonder I went into international studies? <laughs> There's certain languages that just melt me. That's one of them. I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> Yes, um, I slept all day, previous day, and was up pretty much all night, and I have things to do today, so. <laughs> yeah. Kind of down a rabbit hole, but I stopped to listen to Max Rab, and I put on the, you know, play all his stuff, and he's got a lot of stuff on there. While I'm doing that, I'm looking up information that I will need. To live in California. Now, even if everything was ready, I can't go right now because of the COVID stuff. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of places that won't even let you pass through nowadays. So hopefully that'll, people will come to grips and it'll settle down a little bit. I'm not ready. He's not ready. Or my son. Um, but I want to be ready. The, the stuff's still piled up around the desk, and I do want to clean the rugs today. And go over to my mom's grass today. And I've got a lot of things on my to-do list for today. Will I get them done? No one knows. <laughs> oh, God. I have such... How can I say it? I am so randy. It's just... Terrible. When I'm feeling this randy, I really should stay away from the computer. <laughs> Years ago, I almost got into trouble. <laughs> Back to what I need to be doing. Fried food. Terrible, isn't it? You got fried chicken strips or fingers or whatever you want to call it. Onion rings that have been in the freezer for a long time. And one potato cut up and made into a french fries. I'm wearing an apron. Because frying stuff naked is dangerous. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty much my day. When I came back from Trader Joe's, um, there was a guy. I stopped at another grocery store to get a couple things that Trader Joe's doesn't have. There was a guy with his phone. As he was, and the one in front of me at the checkout. And as he was putting things in his cart, he had his phone out facing me. Like, filming me. I don't know what he was filming me for. The you won't believe what I saw. Ah, or look at this old broad or Sasquatch is alive. You know, I don't know what he's filming filmed me about. I wasn't doing anything wrong, so I don't care. But that's just me. You know, if he's gonna sit and make fun of me or put me online and make fun of me, that's wrong. But uh anyway. I came home, wiped off all the groceries and put them away. Yes, I do that. I always have before the, the COVID thing, even Miss Germaphobe. And uh, went over to Mom's. I had to roll the lawnmower up an old door into the trunk of the car, take the door with me so I could unload it at Mom's house mowed the front and backyard and I kept going. I wanted to stop and rest but I kept going because her yard's not that big. It took me an hour to do it but I thought at the end of it I'll sit and rest for 15 or 20 minutes and let the lawnmower cool off because I don't want to put a hot lawnmower in the trunk. 
So after that, I was pretty much exhausted. I took a shower, shaved my legs so I don't look quite as much like Sasquatch. Made that fried dinner, which is not good for me, but I have lots of lettuce, so I will be eating big salads for the next few days, which is all right. I am aching. Aching, aching, aching. Let's see, most of the stores require you to wear a mask now, you know? And, uh, you know, to wear a mask. A lot of people don't want to. Uh, whether they're Trumpsters or I don't know what their reasoning is. But I think this country has made it political. It is not a political thing. It is a human condition thing. It is a disease like the Spanish flu a hundred years ago. I wish people get it through their little heads. I make a proposition to find the people that these guys will listen to, whether it's their pastor or a Republican or whatever, and make a deal with them that they should wear a mask and we'll have a trial for six weeks. And their mask can say, I don't agree with you. Right? So you know where they stand, but they're cooperating for this statistical research that we're all doing. You know? That's my proposition. And uh, at the end of six weeks, we'll see the statistics. Maybe it'll be a big difference. Maybe it won't. But we really got to get this, this crap finished. Because Missouri has now joined one of the most deadly states and there are some places and some states that will not let us travel there because we are a hot spot I would like to you know get things finished around here and I want to see my grandson again I can't do any of that except on on the phone you know Whatever that is, you know, face to FaceTime stuff. Oh well, um, tomorrow's Wednesday. Whoop whoop Wednesday. And I will have a joke for you. Upward and onward.